so it's November 2019. I'm in the gym. Actually, I just I just trained this guy. He just left. So I'm uh, I'm here by myself, getting ready to go. So I just wanted to do a quick little video, kind of a just a video. You know, some people may like it, uh, might find it interesting for a boxing trainer, for a boxing person, for a fighter, mainly for a trainer and a, and a coach. Just, it's just, just my insight, my own opinion. I'll give an example, but something to look for as a fighter and as a trainer. I'll give an example. Now, I'm in the gym. I'm working the corner. I stand up. Boxing is a mental game, and I, I'll give an example. I'm in the corner. I'm right here. My guys are sparring. Round ends. Guy comes back to the corner. He comes back. Puts his arms right here on this. Puts his head down. He looks like he just fought the thrill in Manila. It's been like two rounds, three rounds of sparring, whatever. He looks like he just went to the thrill in Manila. Like he's dead. I say to him, and this happens a lot, not just one particular guy. I'm saying, what are you doing? I said, think about what you're doing right now. This is a moment for you. Think about what's happening to you. You're trying to exhibit to me that you're dead. You're exhausted. You have went through this hellacious sparring. You went through warfare. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Look at me. Guaranteed you don't feel nearly as bad as you think you do. And I'll tell you why. Human beings look for sympathy in, in moments like that. When they're used to being coddled. People, people get a paper cut, they don't even go to work. People are exhausted. They want people to think, I just had great sparring. I had hard sparring. I, I went through it. I really dug down. I'm tired. That way, the next round, if they get beat up a little bit, then they have an excuse. Well, I was tired, man. You saw how hard it was. Stand up. Stand up, be strong, right? Another thing, you see people, I'll give an example. I have somebody do, put that bag, that heavy bag. I put it right here on the ground. I have people jump over it sideways. They jump, they jump, they jump, they jump. See how many times you can do it in a minute. Now, I see so many guys, or I'll tell a guy, do as many as you can. Just do as many as you can. Let's see how many you can do. Many, many, many times a guy will stop at 50. He'll stop at 75. He'll stop at 40. They don't stop at 37. They don't stop at 51, 57, 59. They stop on an even number. That's because in their mind, they make up their mind that they're going to reach this goal. In their mind, they pushed it. They pushed it. They reached the goal. But they didn't take it as far as they could go because they stopped at the goal. Taking it as far as you could go, you'll end up with 76, 53, 49. You've got the, you've got, very rarely will you just so happen to stop at 50 when you've pushed it as hard as you can go. You've got to go till you can't go anymore. Don't make up in your mind a goal that you're going to reach because it doesn't work that way in a fight. You have to take it beyond the limits. Guys do the plank. They stop. I tell them, all right, do a plank. Let me see if you can make a minute. They do the minute, and they, I say, all right, that's a minute, and they stop dead. Like they, like they, you know, their bodies gave out. I said, what a coincidence. Like your body gave out at the exact moment that we were going to do. Why wouldn't you? I like when a guy, I'll tell him, all right, let's do, let's do two minutes. And I tell him, all right, that's two minutes. And they stay up. You know why? Because they're, they're, they're not reaching that goal. They're going beyond the goal. Mentally strong. You, you cannot get used to stopping at a goal. It doesn't work that way. Boxing doesn't work that way. Life doesn't work that way. Athletics competition does not work that way. That's why I love when I see two guys and they're doing a plank. This is when you know. If you want to do an experiment with your fighters. You want to do an experiment with yourself. If you want to know what kind of human being you are. Do a contest with someone. Do a plank contest. And then you say to them, all right, tell you what. Let's both stop at the four-minute mark. So we're at 320 now. Let's both stop at the four-minute mark, all right? Okay, they agree to stop. I want to see one of them 
keep going. They, somebody will go, all right, that's four minutes. One of them will drop. I want to see the other one to keep going. I love that. And I've seen a lot of guys that double cross the other guy. I'm waiting for them to do it. Uh, that shows that they're trying to win. Win, 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 win. Because that's what it's about. I mean, it's, it's not just about competing. And, you know, that's nice. But you're boxing. Why not win and still be cool with the other guy as opposed to losing? You know, or at least, at least give it your best. But So when you come back to the corner and you collapse on these top ropes like you just sprinted 4,000 yards, I know 99.9% of the time it's not necessary. You do not need to do that. Stand up straight. You always, um, composure is huge. When you're in the corner, a lot of fighters, a lot of trainers, you know, they're just looking at their guy. They're focused on their guy. You've got to check out the other guy. You've got to see where he's at. I look over. I see you. You know, I'll be sparring with a guy, and when I see him, even if it's a good round, even if he had a good round with me, you know, he's banging me, he's hitting, looking good, but he goes over to the corner and he shows fatigue, uh, and he's bent over. I know, I know it's wearing, he's showing me that it's wearing on him, and that he can't hide it, and if I push, we can exploit this, we can, it's called drowning, you know, you take a guy to deep water and you drown him, that's what it's about, you take him to that place, everyone has their limit, You've got to build yours up. You can't just give in every time you feel fatigue. I mean, human beings are soft in that regard. Many people just give up when they're tired. They give up when they're hurt. You have to be a different kind of human being. You cannot give in. It does not work that way. And that's, that's just my advice. That's just my own, uh, my own thing. So if you agree, hopefully you can use it. If you don't, no harm, no foul, right? All right, people.